Hi everybody, this is Johnny from YouTube in your paper pantry, Tabasco 14 from my eBay store, and I wanted to show you a couple of things that I, um, some, some haul things and some unbelievable happy mail. But first I must explain to everybody, um, last weekend I tripped over Prissy, I was actually giving the the cats and dogs some treats and she got under my feet and um, I almost stepped on her tail so I didn't want to fall on her and hurt her so I literally tripped and fell in fact on this hand um, I don't know if you can see it when I get this oh, wow, wow. I have on a um, um, thing on my wrist because when I went down um, I sprained my little pinky finger, this one, and sprained my wrist, which that isn't as bad. And I've done it before, believe it or not. I've sprained this wrist and this wrist a couple of times, falling over animals. I'm always so protective of them, and they get excited, get under your feet, and so. But I fell, when I fell, I fell downstairs, which, you know, the floor under me, of course, because this is under, this is the whole big basement down here with the bedrooms and bathrooms downstairs, too it's cement floor so when I came down I was in the laundry room which is just uh, linoleum so I came down hard um, on my right knee and it literally swelled up to be like a watermelon and I've actually fallen before over my pets and um, one time I cut my hand this hand really really badly in my garage falling um, tripping over my I used to have a dog a little Yorkie Hudson and I was actually throwing out trash and I had car keys in my hand because there were some things I wanted to put into the back of my Jeep and I had the remote and so she thought we were going someplace and I had trash in one hand when I fell there was glass in the bag and um, the glass broke through the bag and I cut my hand up really bad so anyway um, and then I tripped one time coming up the steps. I had slippers on and the slipper fell, came off a little bit, and I had hot, hot, hot coffee. was trying not to, you know, spill the hot coffee all over myself, and I came down on that same knee. So this poor knee has had some, um, um, really a lot of damage to it. So I'm a little under the weather, but I am getting better. The knee is much better. I've been putting ice on it and elevating it and everything. The wrist is better, and so that's why I have this on, to try and keep everything warm. Pinky's actually the best out of everything. Maybe I might not have actually sprained it, but it was pretty sore for a couple days. Okay, enough said about that crazy stuff. I wanted to show you a couple of things. First of all, um, BD Bomb Bomb Creations was having a sale on some of her... Well, not a sale, but she was having... I think it was free shipping... And so I went to her site. She has a Zibit store, and I got a few things. Um, basically, only a couple of things, but one were these little butterflies that she has. They're really, really tiny. Um, I got two different ones, one in red and one in this green. And then um, three yards of this trim in violet. I love this trim, and I've been having a hard time finding it. And then three yards in this... It's not pink, uh, and this one's gray, but this one's um, peachy color, I guess. And so that came the other day. Uh, also, I wanted to show you one of the eBay sellers that I get a lot of my Lorelei stuff from. Her name is Lisa. I have actually put her name down below, and I'll do it again. I had bought some more fabric of the Lorelei stuff. And this one here is the Beach Girls, and it's so adorable got some of the cupcakes and the chairs and this was a Christmas Lorelei one and some more of her embroidery this one's a sewing machine this lady has fabric in her hair and a tape measure holding her hair back and her earrings are thread spools and then this one is this not adorable her uh, body or her outfit is the big tomato pin cushion. She's got scissors and everything on her hair. So that was from her. And oh, and then the cupcake girls. I love this. I'm trying to hurry up. There you go. Upside down. Gee whiz. I'm sorry. 
There you go. And there are cupcakes and fairies and everything. But I've bought from her three times. In fact, I have some more things on my wish list. And when the package came, sorry, I wanted to show you, she made this for me. And it's an angel. I'll show it to you this way. She actually made it out of a wooden spoon and a beautiful, uh, probably a doily or might have been like a lady's na um, tissue napkin and um, wings and a flower. And if you look inside, if you can see up here, I don't want to mess it up. But, well, I don't know if you can see it. But anyway, it is a wooden spo a spoon. And she made me this gorgeous angel with a beautiful bow and a flower in the front. And um, I'll put her link below. She is one of my two favorite Lorelei eBay sellers. They both have lots of different fabric, but I love both of these ladies. So that was from her. And then um, this was from another eBay seller. I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know her name. But I bought this just to fussy cut. And as you can see, I started to fussy cut some of the ladies out. This one is Christmas Angels. And these are just fat quarters, and she was having a sale, and I think the shipping was free for a couple of days or something. And then this one is just different ladies that I just loved. And so that is someone else. It's the first time I bought from this lady, and like I said, it was because it was free shipping. And then this lady, her name is Vicki, and she always packages everything so cute and this wonderful polka dot um, tissue paper, but she sent me, besides the things I ordered, something I'd actually been looking for and was unable to find, and it is the Lorelei fabric of the ladies in the bubble bath. And they're all in different uh, bubble baths and different outfits, and here's one just laying alongside and a corset and she sent this to me as a gift and oh my gosh I was when I saw it I was so excited and so thankful and I'll put her link below her name is Vicki she's on eBay and then well actually I'm not even going to open the fabric up because I have so much to show but there's beautiful fabrics in here from her then I had gone on your scrapbook supply dot com, dot com this lady actually has a store on eBay, but she has a separate store, and um, I bought some Graphic 45, but first I wanted to show you from Scrap Mart. They have their Lala stamps, and they're free shipping, and she was on sale. I don't remember how much, but this is Marcy, Ruffle Marcy, and I've actually had it for like two weeks and keep forgetting to show you uh, Ruffle Marcy, but I love um the La La Land stamps and free shipping at Scrap Mart. So, and anyway, this is from your scrapbook supply. This is the other place, and she was having a sale for 15% off everything that you bought, and stuff was on sale to start with. And then if you spend $50, you got free shipping. So, this is oh my, sorry, my wrist is a little sore. These are Graphic 45, and they're actually metal close pins. This is a, um, just a jur journaling note cards, and I'm not going to open it up, but it's the Farabelle collection, and they're beautiful if you go to the site. I got two of the Ladies Diary in the 8x8, one of the um, Graphic 45. This is um, the tra Tropical Travelogue, again, in the 8x8, um, the 12x12 paper had in the ladies diary and then I don't remember oh sorry I have to use this now don't remember who this is but I just thought this paper was gorgeous it's 12 by 12 Farabelle collect collection Jody Lee is what it says I had just seen the papers and I love them so that was um, part of it excuse me while I try and get this off so I can show you Sorry, sorry. I'm trying, just trying to make some room. Then I got a box in the mail on Monday, no Tuesday, and I it said, um, here you go, Gina's designs, 
and I've not been to her site before and I thought, oh my goodness, who is this? I just didn't know. I thought maybe it was somebody I had ordered from, babe, um, from eBay. And then I turned it over and it says on here, Dear Sweet Pea, hope you have a fabu a fabulous, furrylicious birthday, Meow Twin. And so this is from Myra, Crafty Rats. And this is a birthday gift from her. And wait till you see all the stuff that is in here. It is just incredible. Let me try and go as quickly um, as I can. I, I took it out of the thing and it was all wrapped up nice in tissue paper and everything but so that I could show it to you I, I had to put it in a plastic bag so let me oh, 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 oh. Shoot. okay try and get that back oh and this first so I can push this back Gina also included this as a free gift and it says thank you for the, your order and look at it's all the steampunk gears and everything all laser cut. These are laser cut chipboards. Really, really beautiful. I love this stuff. So first off, um, I'm going to try and show you quickly. Look at these dress forms. They are oh, so beautiful. These are the look at look at these. Is that cool? And these. These are wonderful. Myra, thank you, Myra. I love these things. They're all so beautiful. They're all slipping and sliding around. Um, hopefully you can see. Here is dress forms and the wings that go behind them. Um, this one is the sewing machine set. And it's actually got thread spools, hangers, the sewing machine, dress form, scissors. It's just a multitude of different wonderful die cuts um, in this package. Sorry. And here's the um, dress forms I just showed you. The little ones here they are in the larger size with like the birdcage kind of bottom and this one that looks like it has trim hanging off the bottom. Um, these are bigger ones with hoops. That they look like big hoops. And there's some skinnier ones here. Look at these. I hope I hope I'm showing these because they're beautiful. Oh my goodness! And these are all from Myra. Oh. And here's another another set of dress forms, different ones that are in here. And look at this: some corsets that um, in different sizes, and they actually have the little tiny holes, so, so <clears throat> you can take thread or twine and actually tie them up like a corset. Gorgeous. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, this one that has bird cages and a bird cage stand. Let's see if I can get one out so you can see. And there's actually little kitty cats in here laying down and standing up and look at this. Look. Myra and I both are crazy over our cats so Look at the cat on the top of the birdcage and the other one sitting at the bottom just waiting to get in. And then here's some without the birds. Here's a short one and um, a longer one. They are so cute. Sorry, I'm trying to rush. So I don't go over in my time. And then I haven't even opened this one up, so I think this one's Paris theme, but I'm not sure. Yes, because I have Eiffel Towers all around. Look at this, a chandelier, like a Florida de lis sort of, the Eiffel Tower. There's all kinds of wonderful um, Paris um, kind of ones in here. And then look at this. This is actually to make a mini album with. Look at the size of this and see you have the one so that when you this is the front cover you would actually do it like that and then you know tie it shut and it's the whole thing right here and last but not least oh and she includes a note in here this is from Gina please remember that these are laser cut by burning some soot may shake off during shipping do not open packages over an area that cannot be wiped off so that's so cool 
Now this one is actually a dressing, like a lady's dressing area. I'm hoping you can see this one. Here's the lady. Look at that. Can you see this? Oh, maybe I should do this. There we go. She's actually getting dressed or undressed or whatever, and she's got her, her foot on a stool, and there's a dress form. And... Sorry. Not sure what else. Um... Not sure what that shape is. And that is it supposed to be a whole dressing room, so I'll have to go to her site. And there's little shoes. Oh my goodness. Hoping you can see that. Can you see the high heels? Is that not cool? Oh my goodness. And this is from Myra, Crafty Rats for my birthday. I was it was so unexpected and I am so incredibly thankful and I love these these die cuts they are phenomenal um, I'll have to put the link below of the, the site where she got them from uh, it is Gina's designs so um, I will try to remember I don't want to throw anything away because I don't know what's important and what's not important <laughs> sorry and then I just wanted to show you two quick things that um, go into the giveaway again please thumbs up and leave a comment um, to be put in the um, drawing for July 14th for my birthday giveaway first of all there are these chipboard embellishments from recollections and they have the little pearl handles the little bow and then this is basically um, decorative border in like a tanny brown kind of a color and these are for the giveaway so please go and leave a comment thank you all so much please be nice to each other I noticed that someone um, gave me two thumbs down on the Harry Jr. and Miss Pink's video which is a shame you know if that's what you want to do do it it doesn't really bother me but I just feel it's you know uncalled for for us to be giving anybody thumbs down you know we're all on here to make friends and to learn from one another so um, like I'm trying to tell you all please be nice to each other love each other it's not hard to do I hope you all had a wonderful um, 4th of July and thank you so much to my friends who know about my stupid fall again I am so clumsy I keep telling everybody that I'm certainly was could never be a ballerina which is funny when I was a child or young I used to um, love to go ice skating and I could do the spins and do all the jumps and everything when I was young and I wanted to be a ballerina I do not know what happened to that child that used to be able to do that um, maybe it was just that I was better on ice than on land with two feet I was better with two skinny blades I don't know I don't know how I used to be able to do that and I used to roller skate and be able to do all the the fancy dancing but boy oh boy I, maybe it's just old age I don't know but I'm very very clumsy and that a Jay made me laugh because she sent me an email and said that um, maybe she needed to send me some bubble wrap and that I needed to be wrapped up in bubble wrap because I guess her family says she's clumsy too and at times she needs to be in some bubble wrap so we'll um, it's a good idea for me for sure anyway everybody um, have a great Thursday thanks for watching um, don't forget to leave a comment and thumbs up so you can get in my video and my giveaway for July 14th Love each other. Be nice to everybody. Big fat pink delicious hugs. And um, ciao, ciao, ciao.